J.D. Shulton, one of Iowa's state representatives, is a Sioux City native. <laughs> That's a Sioux City thing, too. <laughs> right now, J.D. is up for re-election, meaning long days knocking on doors and working on his campaign. Just a few weeks ago, J.D. was volunteering in the VIP tent for Saturday in the park, but at 3 o'clock, he got a call, one he'd been waiting on for years. I was delivering a bunch of bags of ice, and I just wanted to see what time it was, and that boom, uh, that's when I saw all those messages and everything. A good chunk of it, I thought it was a joke. <laughs> I didn't know if it was real or not. Same thing. J.D. was being called in as an emergency starting pitcher for the Explorers, Sioux City's semi-professional baseball team. So I called him. Uh, he didn't answer. Uh, I called him again. He didn't answer. I sent a text. I said, I need to talk to you ASAP. And then he called me back and like, what's up? Like, I need a starter for tonight's game. He goes, ha ha, ha, you're just kidding with me. And I said, no, I'm being serious. The state rep had less than three hours to get from Grandview Park to the stadium with a quick stop at home to grab his gear and to eat a quick meal. About an hour, 45 minutes before game time, which in, in my league ball, you're usually at the pod or pretty early. So, but like, I'm used to showing up a half hour before game time, get loose, just throw it. The next day, JD signed on to the Explorers permanently. I have a running joke with my pitching coach, and I'll do it tonight. I will go out to the dugout, and I will say, this is not a good matchup for him tonight. And I will say that again, and somehow he keeps proving us wrong. You know, if he continues to do what he's been doing over the course of his last four starts, he's going to be in this rotation as long as his health stays there and he can work it with what he does uh, for real jobs. Baseball has always been a part of the 44-year-old's life. Returning to this mound was no problem for J.D., who has had a lifetime of experience in this arena, literally. The thing with this mound, I, I pitched on it in high school, I pitched on it in college, I pitched on it previously with the Axis, so I'm very familiar with the mound and everything. So, When J.D. walked off the field that day, he got a standing ovation. But his after party wasn't in the dugout. It was back at Saturday in the park, where he made it just in time to see the last of the bleachers set. I came back like, how'd it go? I'm like, I got the win. Like, what? <laughs> Everybody could just see me like smiling from ear to ear and just radiating. Although he might have a different political view than the other players, it hasn't gotten in the way of the game. Down in the bullpen before his first start, he throws his last pitch, and always you go down and shake your catcher's hand and you say, let's get, let's get after this. He turns around and the whole bullpen is lined up. And he's like, he looks at my pitching coach and he goes, what's going on? He goes, this is a Republican bullpen. Go give, go give some handshakes to all of them. And since you're Democrat and used to handing everything out for free, you can go give them five. So he takes it well, you know. Um, but whether he, at the end of the day in a clubhouse, there's several things you don't talk about. Religion, politics, and, uh, and people's families. We've kind of brought politics into this place. And he takes it very well. And uh, I actually, you know, asked him what made him become a Democrat. Because I wanted to better understand him and where he was coming from. And I understood everything that he told me. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, he's a guy that puts on his pants the same way as we do. And I have a lot of respect for him, whether Democrat, Independent, Republican. Um, doesn't matter. As J.D. likes to say, if you want to make God laugh, make a plan. I mean, it's been a whirlwind the last few weeks, and the thing that I've really taken from it is even if people think you're crazy, if you're passionate about something, do it. 